<laughs> so you think this would be a way yeah. to control a wheelchair? Be better than messenger. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's a, it's a possibility, uh, okay. especially if you don't have any other uh, options to to drive your wheelchair. I mean, uh, I wouldn't go 120 with this thing, thing but uh, if it's your only option to drive your wheelchair, it's a definitely a possibility. Thank you. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm using an eye tracker here to uh, remotely control a robot. Um, the idea here is to map the view of the robot uh, onto my control, so we simply look at different things in the image and the robot is supposed to navigate to those points. Uh, to use the eye tracker first I need to perform a calibration. Uh, this is done by, let's see, that uh, the eye tracker is tracking the position of my pupil. And now I need to perform a calibration against the screen. In this way the computer will be aware of uh, what pixel I'm fixating on the screen. And this information we can use to control the robots. There we can say the eye tracker is registering the, where I'm looking. And now we need to start up the uh, application. Okay. Now the frame rate here is quite bad, um, but it proves the concept that I can look in different directions and the robot will drive there. Yes, so this is a prototype of a robot uh, that can be uh, controlled by, by eyes. It's a very simple uh, system based off on, uh, on uh, LEGO Mindstorms NXT. There are two uh, sets of LEGO Mindstorms, the rest is some uh, plastic chassis. And um, the laptop here is there to transform the coordinates coming from the controller uh, that can be seen uh, here to some, some information that can be sent to the wheels to the wheels here. And another role of the laptop is to send the, the video stream back over Wi-Fi to the controller. And the video stands here because it needs to, to, to have a, a wide angle to be able to see the wheels there because this gives a very good uh, feedback on, um, and which is important when driving the robot to, to, to know when to drive, when to turn, and those things. The whole project took something like four days, uh, two people. There is a neutral area where I stop. I can go backward by looking a bit down. This is backward. I can sharp turn left here in the corner. Sharp turn right in the other corner. Still turning, still turning. And if I go straight, Turning right. And full speed in, in a straight ahead. 